Hey, what's up? Mike Locke here with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. So let's talk about color theory, color selection, and and choosing the right colors in, in you know in web design. It's one of the most important things in design, but at the same time, it's one of the hardest things to explain. And uh, because um, it's just really hard to to, to to explain and to get it right you just gotta learn it's something that you have to learn and become better at as you go you gotta train your eye to to know what colors fit well together and then the first thing is choosing colors that you like choosing the right colors that go well together the second thing is actually putting them applying these colors to a website and making it all work together so there's two things one choosing the color choosing the right colors two knowing how to lay this out on your websites and I gotta say this designing sites for now 14 years over 14 years there's a, a hundred or millions of ways to do both so there's a million ways to choose colors that that are good for you and then there's uh, tons of ways to lay them out on your website and I just gotta tell you this that you're, you're just gonna get better at it as you go it's sort of like um, playing a guitar you know you don't learn it the first day you're gonna have to get better at it as you go so but a rule of thumb let me just show you really quickly in fireworks like if you're choosing a color I'm gonna show you first off I'm gonna show you some websites that you can go to 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 help you choose different colors for your websites um, and I'm gonna uh, it's gonna help you really choose colors and but I just wanna show you how I normally choose colors or how, I, how you can work with colors sometimes in in like Photoshop or whatever so let's just say you choose one color here your as your primary color now let's just let's just concentrate on these four boxes because I normally have four boxes where I would have a primary color here a secondary color here and then I might have two complementary colors that that I pretty much use throughout the site now be, these four colors is what I would use throughout the entire site and I wouldn't go beyond those four so let's just say this burnt orange here is a color that I really like one thing you can do is to for your secondary color just make it a shade darker or a shade lighter so if you make it just a shade darker here it's gonna automatically blend well together get that so here's it let's just choose another random color blue <clears throat> excuse me if you if you choose this if you make it just make it the same color but then take your color picker or painter and just either make it darker or lighter so in this case let's make it lighter see that might go well together these two go well together okay you can also um, so this is a darker red so you're gonna make it make the second one a lighter just a little lighter you don't want to go too extreme just you know, just lighter and light enough or dark enough then that it gives it a slight contrast you know so that's one way of blending colors there um, the other thing is go to this this website called color schemer com now color schemer com is, is like a network it's a network uh, a social network site for people that like choosing colors and you just go through their list you click on this thing called colors or scheme gallery and you go through a list of tons of different colors and you can just pick you know just do a copy and paste and then use these colors for your website you know that's that the other thing is template monster this is what this is how I actually learned I used to I would go to templatemonster.com click on website templates and then I would spend you know probably 30 minutes or an hour trying to figure out which site looks really nice or what colors go well together I would then do just a copy and paste you know, I might, if I like this site, I do a, I do a copy, paste it back into uh, to Fireworks, and I would just say, you know what, I like this color, and then I like that color. And then I use this orange here. Let me see. I use this orange as a nice complementary color then they use black okay so I just these these four colors here I just selected really quick with my color picker from 
this website here. Now, I could go and create a totally different website using the same colors that I just chose from this website here. And you would never know that I just I took them from this website. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. You can just go here, you know, learn what colors you like and uh, pick colors and you'll get better at it as you go. Totally, you will. I guarantee you because I have sites, like I said, I have sites that I've built that I'm totally embarrassed to show when I first started um, that I, that you know, as of now, I really, I, I kind of know a little bit better on what colors, how to blend colors and, and what colors go well together. The other thing is this website, these websites that uh, you've probably seen blog posts like this where it says like 50 excellent corporate website designs or top 50 blue designs or top 50 minimal designs. So there's a millions of these blog posts out there. Um, I love this one. It's called 50 Excellent Corporate Website Designs and because I love these type of websites and you can just go through these websites and see how they use their colors. You know, it's all about learning. It's all about learning how others have done it, learning what you like and then applying it to your own style and it's just doing trial and error. You know, look at this. Blue, nice warm green here with another shade of green so it's just a matter of uh, of uh, of choosing the right colors now the other the other the last part is how you blend these colors together and how you make these colors work together on your website now that's that's, an, that's another tough one because it's just really difficult to explain because there's a million ways to do it now here's a website that has you know dark burgundy here with another red sort of billboard section here and then they offset it with white now that's what I would recommend is if you whatever colors you you choose like um, let's see like if you choose like okay if you choose orange and, and a dark gray as your colors you know you want to sort of um, use those colors sparingly on your website and you want to offset those two colors with like maybe a white background okay and so if you choose say burgundy or, or orange and and uh, a gray a dark gray you don't want to use those colors entirely throughout your site like you don't want to have a orange background and just black text you want to offset those two colors by always being really simple and clean like you might you might do um, you always want to you know the best practice that I like to use is always use white backgrounds for my websites just a lot of white space okay so like uh, here this Fox audience network site here you know blue is the primary color but it's offset by having a white background and then these the, the primary colors are just accents throughout the website that makes it what it is today so like uh, this color here their color is burgundy is their is their primary color but what you see here they it's an accent color on many of their pages is is not their price it's, it's it's their primary color still but they offset it with a nice white background a lot of white space and softer tones here that doesn't really give it that you know that hardcore look that it's really like in your face so again as we scroll through let me get back to uh, but I just want to wrap it up because I don't have enough time but um, because I only have 10 minutes in this video so you know go ahead choose one of these sites and then just kind of you'll, you'll, you'll begin to learn and study how they use these colors so again choosing the right colors and then offsetting them with white I think is the best thing you can do and you know you'll get better at it as you go you know I know I had to cut this short because my time is running out but you know please hit me up with any questions I hopefully you learn a few things from this and learn how I, how I do it again 14 years designing um, no formal training I just learn these things as I go and again you will get better at it as you go but hit me up with any questions and I'll be happy to answer you and uh, follow me on my blog and um, uh, look out for more videos, okay? We'll talk soon. Okay, bye.